Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at capacitors, so let's get started. Now, we've already seen in the circuit components theory video that capacitors store charge and therefore electrical energy. So it starts here by saying that capacitors take time to charge and discharge. So they take time to charge up and they take time to discharge. And an important thing that you need to know for capacitors is that when a capacitor is fully charged, the potential difference, i.e. the voltage across it, is equal to the potential difference or voltage of the supply. And this is what the circuit symbol for a capacitor looks like with two parallel metal plates. Now remember this section between the two parallel plates is actually just air, it's an insulator. So how can we actually get current or electrons flowing through the circuit component. Well, let's say the current was flowing from the left, then the electrons, i.e. the charge, would build up on the surface of this capacitor plate. And because we would then have lots of electrons, lots of negative charge on this plate, this would actually repel away the electrons from this side, causing the electrons to continue to flow in this circuit. So it's not that the electrons actually cross the barrier, it's simply to do with the repulsion of charge. Consider a simple circuit now with a 10 volt battery, a switch, resistor, capacitor, capacitor and an ammeter. So this is how you would connect a capacitor in series for example and it says here that once the switch is closed the capacitor starts to charge up. Initially the potential difference across the capacitor is zero volts when the switch is open but when it's fully charged the potential difference across the capacitor is 10 volts. So that is because remember we've said that when the capacitor is fully charged the potential difference across it will be the same as the potential difference of the supply so that was 10 volts. And so when the the voltage across the capacitor is 10 volts, the voltage across this resistor here would be 0 volts because the capacitor has taken the full voltage from that supply. And lastly it says that the current decreases as the capacitor charges. So initially when the switch is just closed we have our maximum current flowing in the circuit but as the capacitor charges up over time the current in the circuit will decrease and that's actually to do with the electrons building up on one of the plates of the capacitor and this is going to make it more difficult for electrons approaching this negatively charged plate and therefore the current will decrease and decrease until eventually no more current can flow when the capacitor is fully charged. And lastly, where might you see a capacitor used in everyday life? Well, in photography, for example, capacitors are responsible for the flash of light that you see in digital cameras. And that arises when you click your finger to take a photo and you lift your finger back up. What you're doing is you're discharging the capacitor, which produces a flash of light. Or in other words, it's releasing that energy that you've stored up. You might also see capacitors used in medicine and defibrillators, where you can discharge through somebody's body to try and restart their heart. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.